In the previous lecture we discussed the direct acting cholinergic agonists, and today we'll discuss the indirect acting cholinergic agonists. As we said, acetylcholinesterase exists in synaptic cleft, and is responsible for cleaving acetylcholine to choline and acetate, and terminating its actions. The indirect acting cholinergic agonists act by inhibiting acetylcholinesterase reversibly or irreversibly, causing accumulation of acetylcholine in the synaptic cleft, so increasing both muscarinic and nucleinic actions of acetylcholine in the body, as well as its actions in the neuromuscular junction and in the brain. First, let's discuss the reversible anticholinesterase agents. The first one is edrophonium. It is a short-acting acetylcholinesterase inhibitor. Edrophonium binds reversibly to the active center of acetylcholinesterase, preventing hydrolysis of acetylcholine. It is rapidly absorbed and has a short duration of action of 10 to 20 minutes due to rapid renal elimination. Edrophonium is a quaternary amine, so it doesn't cross the CNS. It is used in the diagnosis of myasthenia gravis which is an autoimmune disease caused by antibodies to the nicotinic receptor at the neuromuscular junction, this causes their degradation, making fewer receptors available for interaction with acetylcholine. That causes abnormal fatigue of skeletal muscles characterized by decreased grip strength, dropped eyelid or known as ptosis, and difficulty in chewing, swallowing, lifting objects and holding the head up and speaking and that depends on the severity of the disease. Intravenous injection of edrophonium leads to a rapid increase in muscle strength. As we said it is used in the diagnosis not as a treatment because of its short duration of action. It is available with the brand name, Inlin. Overdose may provoke a cholinergic crisis. In this case atropine which is a cholinergic antagonist, is used as antidote. Physostigmine is a nitrogenous carbamic acid ester found naturally in plants and is a tertiary amine, so it can cross the blood brain barrier. It reversibly inhibits acetylcholinesterase, so it increases the effect of acetylcholine in the muscarinic and nicotinic sites of the ANS and the nicotinic receptors of the neuromuscular junction, and also stimulates the cholinergic sites in the CNS. Its duration of action is about 30 minutes to 2 hours, and it is considered an intermediate acting agent. The drug increases intestinal and bladder motility, which serves as its therapeutic action in atonia of either organ. Physostigmine is also used in the treatment of overdoses of drugs with anticholinergic actions, such as atropine. The effects of physostigmine on the CNS may lead to convulsions when high doses are used. Bradycardia and a fall in cardiac output may also occur. Neostigmine is a synthetic compound that is also a carbamic acid ester, and it reversibly inhibits acetylcholinesterase. Unlike physostigmine, neostigmine has a quaternary nitrogen. Therefore, it is more polar, so it does not enter the CNS, and is poorly absorbed from the GI tract. So it is used as injection, and is available with the brand name, Prostigmine. It has an intermediate duration of action, usually 30 minutes to 2 hours. It has a strong effect on skeletal muscle, so it is also used to manage symptoms of myasthenia gravis. It is used to stimulate the bladder and GI tract, and also as an antidote for competitive neuromuscular blocking agents. Neostigmine does not cause CNS side effects as it doesn't enter the CNS. But it has adverse effects of generalized cholinergic stimulation, such as salivation, flushing, decreased blood pressure, nausea, abdominal pain, diarrhea, and bronchospasm. Neostigmine is contraindicated when intestinal or urinary bladder obstruction is present. Pyritostigmine and ambinonium are other acetylcholinesterase inhibitors that are used in the chronic management of myasthenia gravis. They are effective orally, and their durations of action are intermediate 3 to 6 hours and 4 to 8 hours, respectively. Adverse effects of these agents are similar to those of neostigmine. They are available with the brand names, mestinon and mitolase, respectively.
patients with Alzheimer's disease have a deficiency of cholinergic neurons in the CNS. This observation led to the development of anticholinesterases that can penetrate the CNS and increase the effect of acetylcholine. Tacrine was the first to become available, but it has been replaced by others because of its hepatotoxicity. Despite the ability of donpozil, rivastigmine, and galandamine to delay the progression of Alzheimer's disease, none can stop its progression. They are available with the brand names, Aricept, Exlin, Razadine respectively. GI distress is their primary adverse effect. Now let's talk about the irreversible anticholinesterase agents. A number of synthetic organophosphate compounds have the capacity to bind covalently to acetylcholinesterase. The result is a long-lasting increase in acetylcholine at all sites where it is released. Many of these drugs are extremely toxic and were developed by the military as nerve agents. Related compounds, such as parathion and malathion, are used as insecticides. Ecotheophate is an organophosphate that covalently binds via its phosphate group at the active site of acetylcholinesterase. Once this occurs, the enzyme can be reactivated using prolidoxime which breaks the bond between the remaining drug and the enzyme, but this treatment should be done right after the exposure to ecotheophate. Prolidoxime is available commercially with the brand name, Protopam. Or the enzyme is permanently inactivated, and restoration of acetylcholinesterase activity requires the synthesis of new enzyme molecules, as the phosphorylated enzyme slowly releases one of its alkyl groups, which is called aging. Echotheophate actions include generalized cholinergic stimulation, paralysis of motor function causing breathing difficulties, and convulsions. It also produces intense meiosis. Intraocular pressure falls from the facilitation of outflow of aqueous humor. A topical ophthalmic solution of the drug is available with the brand name, phospholiniodide, for the treatment of open angle glaucoma. However, ecotheophate is rarely used due to its side effect profile. And interpene in high doses can reverse many of the peripheral and some of the central mascarinic effects of ecotheophate. That's all for this lecture. In the upcoming lecture we will discuss the cholinergic antagonists. Download the PDF of this lecture from the link down in the description, and follow us on social media to easily get our newest videos.